And Afrojack joins us on Amp Radio this morning live at 823. Congratulations on Forget the World, your debut album, which is hard to believe after four or five years on the scene. You've, you know, you produce so many hit songs and you've been so successful as a DJ and a producer. You, I mean, your, your hit album has very little pressure. Does it feel that way? Uh, yeah, thank you for the intro, first of all. And uh, yeah, well, since it got released and now it's in the charts everywhere, like I have like no pressure at all. Yeah, like, someone just walked in and said something in Dutch and now you're like, oh, we're number one in Japan and here yeah, and there. Like the information is just coming in this just morning. It's pretty there, crazy. Right? It it's was a just, nice morning. It's a good start. Well, nice thanks morning. for spending your uh, release with us here at Amp Radio. And you're going to spin with Booker later that we establish. Tell me a little bit about this record and, and who, who and why you called to, to get them on it. Well, the first most important thing, the reason it's called Forget the World is because I always like try to tell people uh, like you have to forget the world and follow your own dreams to like become happy in life and uh, yada, yada, yada. So that's really important. And then to, yeah, for the musical part, I just called some friends and some people I met over the last year. So uh, I have a song together with Sting, a song together with Wiz Khalifa, a song together with Snoop Dogg, a couple of songs with Matthew Kelma and uh, Stephen Rabel. And the feedback has been uh, amazing so far. I also have a song together with 30 Seconds to Mars with uh, oh, Oscar nice. winning Jared cool. Leto, so. Sting, right. 30 Seconds to Mars, just, and Wiz Khalifa. Do you love this? I just called a couple friends. Yeah. yeah. Called Sting. Yeah, called so, hey. how, how did the Sting thing happen? <laughs> I, I wish I had some of this. I, I don't have it. I have nothing right now. I have 10 feet tall, but I don't have anything go more. And buy my album. <laughs> right, I will. No, but uh, seriously, uh, Sting is a good friend of uh, another friend of mine, and I made this song, and it would be awesome to have Sting on there, but it was like, it seemed impossible. And then through my friend Sting got to hear it and he got really excited about it. He checked out some of my videos. He loved my work and he said, uh, yeah, Nick, uh, let's do the song together. I'm like, <laughs> right. yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Sting. I guess so. How do you uh, pick the beats? You know, I mean, I figure you DJ so much. Maybe your residency in Vegas gives you the ability to play music that you create and you know immediately which ones are going to be huge. It, are those the ones that you put aside for the record and then figure out a vocalist to go on it? No, it's usually like uh, when I'm working in the studio, I just I make songs like nonstop. I just keep making songs, writing songs, producing. And then, uh, yeah, at the end, like six months ago, I said, okay, now this is going to be the album. What's going on in music right now? What's going to be that next level uh, thing? And that's what I wanted to make. And that's how I chose the records. What do you think of music right now? I think it's cool. I love the fact that we, like, that's what I've been trying to do, like, since I started producing. Like, I wanted to break open radio. That's why I did Take Over Control. That's why we did uh, As Your Friend or Can't Stop Me, because we wanted to take the radio and make it a little more available to, like, dance music and drops and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see, like, that it was a good start, because now instrumental tracks like Martin Garrix and Animals, you hear all over the airways, like, the crazy, the crazier and crazier stuff. So we can keep going crazier and crazier. This is the sting track here, huh? Yes. Yeah. What's this called? Catch tomorrow? Yeah, it's like really this. pretty. He said I'm on this road trying to catch tomorrow. A little break. Every night she walks the streets with a little red. It's a lower octave than you normally hear Sting sing. It's cool. It's different. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait for the drop. Wait for the drop. She's I'm waiting, Afro Jack. I'm waiting. <laughs> Amazing where music is, right, Ange? I mean, for Vine Sting with Afrojack and get great. Sound yeah, exactly. I mean, this really is Amp Radio. We set, established this radio station in Los Angeles to help sort of be the uh, the canvas, if you will, for people like I yourself. Know. You know? I know, I remember coming here a long time ago already when I just had Takeover Control, and this was like the main radio station that was actually focused on. That bringing new music to the table, not just dance music, but just new music. I love that about you. You've always defended your voice. This, this isn't about EDM. This isn't about putting things in boxes. It's you want to break it apart. This yeah, is about make new music. This is just new make music. New this is where music's at. And if you look at our playlist, whether it's the John Legend track that Tiesto jumped on, now that's become the big track, or any of the other danceable stuff that we have here. Not even danceable, but it's just music. It's just where it's at. It's just new music, you know, like beats that you never heard before. Weird sounds, weird, like something special, something new, something fresh, always. You should also check out the track with Snoop Dogg. That's like a big party. Yeah, I'll put it on right now. I, just, I finally like, just got your CD and it was here. Which one, Dynamite? Yeah. I saw you on Twitter did a nice movie. Just... 
tweeted out, we're going to shoot the uh, Snoop Dogg video today in L.A. Just Here's my Gmail uh, email. Just go and email me your headshot, and we'll get you in the video. Oh, nice. Which yeah. is a nice move nice. to get the ladies down there, you know, and check out the headshot. Are you shooting that video today? Yeah, we're shooting it today, later. That'll be fun. Is Snoop going to be in it, I hope, or no? Yeah, yeah, of course, okay. of course. And you're doing Arsenio today, too. Is this the Snoop Dogg train? Yeah. This is the is this clean, by the way? Yeah, I've no idea. Should, should this part what? is clean. This, this part is clean. Okay, <laughs> tell me if there's tell an F-bomb. Yeah, that's cool. You like that, Ange? Yeah, I love yeah. that. I think you should stop it now yeah, just to be safe really because nervous, Where's that button? it's a no. pretty dirty okay. song. Right. It's pretty okay. dirty we'll song. We'll stop it there. The Jiminy the Christmas. Great. Yeah, scaring the hell out of me. Advisory. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> That's the uh, CD right out of the CD machine there. <laughs> right. We're so edgy. Amp Radio, 830 Afrojack, <laughs> joining us live in studio. The album is out, Forget the World. Big day today for you. You're going to go do Arsenio Hall. And we talked about how difficult it is when you're um, really a, you know, a DJ producer to, to play your music on a television show. It's just not easy. Yeah, it's, it's always difficult, but that's why I always try to get in a little freedom in there to be able to speak about the music mm -hmm. and tell the people my idea behind the music. So I would really appreciate it if, Arsenio, you're listening right now, if I can talk to you for a second. <laughs> uh, outside of that, I still appreciate being on the show and presenting my music. But yeah, that's, that's always the thing, you know, like for me, it's really important that it's not just the music, but people understand the community because it's like amazing. All the people come together, you have to imagine a festival, mm -hmm. 25,000 yeah, people, cool. everything crazy. And there's like no fights. Everyone just like, oh Having my God, I love this song. Love, right. I hear so, that about Bonnaroo all, all the time. Everybody says what a great like community it is. You know, yeah. there's no like littering vibe, and right. people are just there to, yeah. to, to be good to one another mm -hmm. and to just vibe. You and know? enjoy the music and just like share a passion together. And this is the 30 seconds yeah. to Mars track. Is there F-bombs here? Can I play a little no, bit? No, there's no F-bombs <laughs> here. Jared is really clean. Okay. <laughs> I like this already. different dynamic when you get a guy like Jared, you know, you get a, uh, like a rock vibe versus working with a Chris Brown or a Snoop or even Sting. Like you're in the studio, you, yeah. yet your music works with everybody. Yeah, for me, it's just about combining genres and creating something fresh, like, and this, like a rock dance song, just check it out. The song is basically coming later in the album, like uh, almost at the end, because like you've been through a journey and stuff, and then at the end everything comes together in like a big, like EDM kind of explosion. Party, yeah. yeah, this is like the big uh, crescendo of the whole thing. Oscar winner on your album, huh? Yes, I know it's, <laughs> it's still pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but the craziest thing for me, honestly, though, like of course working with these people is like amazing. But then they show their support later. I had a TV show in Holland last week. And I was surprised. Uh, my mom set some stuff up, and I got to see some videos. And you see Sting going like, uh, "Congratulations, Nick, on your first album!" And uh, I'm really proud of you. And I hope we can work together again in the oh, future. That's cool. And yeah. the same from Jared Leto and from David Guetta. And your mom put that together for you? Yeah, she that's she sweet. set it up with the label. So yeah. that's pretty cool. That that's is awesome. awesome. That is awesome. That was like amazing. Like showing the like the whole world basically seeing how Sting congratulates me on my new album. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? You see that? <laughs> Project you watch The Bachelorette at of all? Of course he doesn't. He has taste. Look no, at him. I'm like right. flying around the world and stuff. And yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. I haven't watched TV in a long time. But did, what happened? Did what you happened? play? Uh, <laughs> did you play a gig last night? Uh, yeah, I actually did a gig like in the middle of uh, Hollywood on Hollywood and Highland. Oh, we that's just, awesome. Like, broke open the the mall and just partied. It was nice. Fun. Here's the first bachelor to leave the Bachelorette. Okay. Okay. You come here looking for a wife, and then all of a sudden you hear these guys choosing in here, and I don't, I don't, whatever. It's it's embarrassing, is what it is. So yeah, this was something that a friend put me up to, and I showed up and said, oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's give it a try. That's embarrassing out of myself for one night to do absolutely nothing, to accomplish nothing. And then I'm going to call my parents tomorrow and be like, yeah, that sucked. Uh, I'm coming home. I'm going to face reality and be embarrassed as <laughs> Cool. This is what it is. Wow. I'm going to go home and enjoy myself, take some vacations. And... At some point, you should and stop this talking. Is, you know this, is what I mean? this is stupid. This is stupid. 
<laughs> At some point, he should just stop that talking. That guy's single? I'm shocked by yeah. that. Yeah. It was a really... You know, I hate that show because it's all dudes. I but like it when it's the, the other way. Thing. But I did. I, I couldn't so, help myself. Yeah, it was you watched it. Was so really what's the good. show about? What's the show about? Okay, let me tell you. You don't want to know. So, don't get your booger started on it. There's this one girl. Okay, she's got stubby little fingers. She's an assistant district attorney from Atlanta. Now, she comes into the show, okay, and she's looking for love. Quote, love, you know, on television. So she parades in 25 guys, and it's... Oh. His song's on, so I have to stop. No, no, I'm just putting a little, am, little. Uh, I'm just making this okay, an Afrojack okay, moment. Okay, so then, okay, then twenty, okay, twenty five guys, and, and they have to battle each other to. Well, no, they, get the girl. they're all vying for her love, for the love of the Bachelorette. This is something so unrelatable for Afrojack, who but like, can get any young lady no, no, he wants no, no, at no, any I'm moment saying, in time. Great-looking, talented which, guy. Which one of you would so, like to be with me? What would happen if you like go to the show and turns out you don't like the Bachelorette? She's like a bitch or something. I think that I think it happens. I think that's what happened. It has that happened. But that's another weird thing about the show because you've got these guys come in. They're like, "I'm here because of you," and I'm thinking about what kind of guy is sitting at home watching. The Bachelor by himself, by the way, and calls ABC and is like, I have to be on you. this show. You're almost that's describing yeah, yourself. You totally are. You just did. Okay. What kind of guy, aside from me? Okay. <laughs> just I, I think we should sign up. I think we, we should. Sign up. Exactly.